This coal train is coming for Austin, headed for our coal plant in LaGrange. Over a mile long, I watched it disappear down the track, all out of sight of Austin, but really bound for Austin. Each car holds 80 tons, nearly 10,000 tons altogether. That's less than one day's coal for Fayette. Another will come tomorrow, and another. Even on a Texas scale, Fayette is a massive polluter. It's sixth in greenhouse gases in Texas, eighth largest in producing ozone and smog, and even after spending $400 million, it's still 18th in Texas in acid rain. It spreads coal dust and asthma over the whole region, and airborne lead causes learning impairment. Mercury-contaminated fish cover a wide area of Texas, and it also sucks up 5 billion gallons of Colorado River water every year for cooling. Right now, Austin Energy is drafting a new generation plan, detailing the sources of electricity for Austin in the coming years. This plan says what's in and what's out. Clearly, now is the time to write Fayette's coal plant out. Public hearings will be held early in the year. City Council will provide critical energy and climate policy for the plan. Here are the highlights from a recent City Council review meeting. Good afternoon, I'm Austin Mayor Lee Leffingwell, a quorum is present. Larry Weiss, General Manager of Austin Energy. But I think the more broad policy question that we have mentioned and would like answered is whether or not we want the CO2 to be completely gone or whether we want it just gone from our portfolio. And I know that we passed a resolution that asked you to present us with some options. Just quickly, I really would like to see both paths analyzed financially. I mean, you said you need to know a path first before you give the numbers. I think we need to know the numbers mm -hmm. on both paths. The number one option for me is climate protection. So that means eliminating CO2, period. Not just from our portfolio, not just from our local area. It's climate protection. So that, to me, has always been a clear policy direction since 2007 when we adopted the climate protection plan. But I just want to weigh in that at some point, when, uh, by the end of December, when we do get a list of options, I will not be favoring any option that involves our selling the plant to somebody who could actually ramp it back up again and produce more greenhouse gases. Also, on the issue of Fayette, uh, my main goal, too, is taking the pollutants out of the air. The only thing that I can really support is making sure that we get to a point where we can do that. My preference, my strong preference, would be to figure out how we can ramp down Fayette, uh, the carbon emissions from Fayette, Fayette completely, as opposed to just selling it off to someone else who would ramp it back up. We do not need more evidence. We need to call the question. Make your voice heard right away. Join the Austin Beyond Coal campaign and speak out. Call, write, email, tweet. Any way you can reach Austin City Council and the many influential people in Austin City Government and Austin Energy. Write letters to the editor. Contact newspaper, radio, and TV media and ask for more coverage. Participate actively in Austin Energy's public hearings this spring. Address the City Council. Please join us and keep current on our Facebook page, Austin Beyond Coal.